Look at the size of it! <laughs> Maybe oh 30, 30 my kilos. God! Can I give it a kiss? Yeah, kiss the cod. <laughs> <laughs> that thing could eat my whole head. <laughs> it looks prehistoric, no? <laughs> On my journey around Norway, I've come to Lofoten, a group of islands with a close relationship to the surrounding ocean. Cod is a big deal here. So big that once a year, the world championship in cod fishing takes place. I feel like we're going to war. People fish, booze, dance, and celebrate the local variety of super cod, known as sky. People in Lofoten have a myriad of ways of preparing cod, which is not just a big deal here in Norway. There's a large export of dried cod to the Mediterranean, and in Portugal, it is so popular that the dried Norwegian fish was the first thing Cristiano Ronaldo turned to after he won the European Championship. If there's anything about Sky that this guy doesn't know, then it's not worth knowing. His name is Kella, and he's kind of like the chief of a little town called Henningsvær that relies heavily on sky fishing. Needless to say, I was honored to have him show me around. Good hey, morning. Hello. Hi, Holly. Shiny, Mac. <laughs> Am I disturbing you? No, you no, look no, very no, busy. No problem. We, have, uh, we take these empty boxes back to the boat again, so, so they have it ready for tomorrow. You're already done for today? Yeah, they have uh, delivered the catch of the day. So all this cod is special type of cod, right? Yeah, this uh, cod we, we catch in the winter, we have a special name. Yeah. It's skrei, because skrei it means to, to, to move. Yeah. Because the skrei start from north area, follow the Goldstrom, uh, Gulf Stream into to Norway yeah. and follow the coast and come to Lofoten to lay this egg and make new babies mm. every year. Okay, yeah. The big one we cut up and salt is yeah. a bacalao fish. Mm. And, clip fisk. Uh, clip fisk, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the rest we, we hang out and dry. And this is the stock fish, right? Yeah. Does that hold quite a significant history in this town, stockfish? Yeah, fish? of course. Stockfish uh, have a big history in Norway because stockfish was the first product we have uh, export ever. So this is the old product and, yeah. and the first product we had and the first money we had in Norway. Oh wow. So Norway is built of uh, money from, from cod. How would you describe the smell here, Kala? We used to uh, say, uh, this is a smell of money. <laughs> if you not have this smell, there is a bad season in Lofoten and it's not good for us. So we've seen like the fish coming out of the boat. Now can I see where you process it? I will uh, let you see what they do with the head. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, please follow. Great. Here you can see what they uh, what they do with the head. Yeah. They have a big needle and uh, they have the head on, uh -huh. and they also have this head outside and dry them. You have the tongue here. I think this is the best part of the cod. And there's also this meat around yeah, the yeah. eye is yeah. super delicious. Here is Benjamin. Hello. Hi, I'm Halley. I'll give you an elbow. <laughs> nice to meet you, young man. What do you got going on here? Cutting tongues, Jesus, man. What age are you? Uh, nine. Nine? And you have a knife like that? Your mum lets you hold that knife. <laughs> <laughs> so show us how you take the tongues out, Benjamin. You grab by the eyes, yeah. and uh, you oh. take it on spikes, and so you cut it. Do you like the tongue? No, no not, not that really. much. No. <laughs> so you got a bucket there with 10 kilos, yeah? Mm -hmm. So how much money does that get you? 600. So every week you make 3,000 pound. That's almost as much money as I make. I'm almost 30, man. What's going on there? So, see you later, buddy. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. And all the delicious cod bits all over my hand. Mmm. Cutting tongue is a very, very good business. Yeah. Because they earn 60 crown for one kilo. And uh, my neighbors, they have um, a daughter that is 11 years. Yeah. One day in the last week, she cut 100 kilo, it's 6,000 Norwegian crowns. And his father go to work in the morning. She's father go to work <laughs> in the morning. She's making more money than he 10, 10 hours at work yeah. and come home with 2,000 Norwegian crowns. And that is also 30% tax on this money for yeah. the father. For the young ones, that is free. Whoa! So this is a big business. And it's the same when I was young. We yeah. do the same. Can you get me a job? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can see it's all been dripping all across. Yeah, yeah, course, if yeah. you make it past the seemingly endless racks of drying cod, you end up at Kala's little sea-themed restaurant. 
He likes to cook for anyone who wants to learn about the wonders of cod in all its wonderful forms. Are you ready to uh, help me with I, the food today? I am very ready. It smells delicious in here already. It's not just you, I take it. Take uh, this on you. Oh, yeah, a little fish apron. You should start with, um, with cod tongue. Oh, yeah, And perfect. fried them. You show me what to do. Yeah. Uh, we have a uh, flavor and salt and pepper, and we have uh, the cotton inside here. Oh, beautiful. And we um, do like this. Yeah. And we are ready to... Uh, to get them going. Yeah. Some Norwegian butter. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yes, please. The butter is just browning up. You smell that beautiful, nutty flavor of it. Oh, my God. It's perfectly cooked. You've done this once or twice before. Yeah, I think two times before. <laughs> <laughs> it's just falling apart, isn't it? It's very delicious. I'd happily eat a bowl of that. Mm. If you could get this in the chipper, it would be the best thing in the entire world. Like, just that flesh that's all gelatin and collagen, and it's just so moist. Oh, my God. Mmm. Yeah, now we shall have um, stockfish. Mm -hmm. We have um, soak it in water and get it soft and remove the bone and skin. Yeah. And when, when it's dry, how dry is it? Yeah. Stone hard. Mm. And uh, here is uh, the finished pieces. I thought that they were Norwegian. So what's in the pan here? Mm. I have uh, fried the bacon and because of the taste of the bacon together yeah. with the fish. So have it inside now. Yeah. I cannot wait to dig into this. Please eat. Mmm. It's so meaty. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. But it, it, it takes on this totally different texture. No, it's like t not tough, but like more like strength to it. Like. So what's next on the agenda then? Uh, we shall taste at the caviar from the cod. Oh yes. When we have uh, find the good roll, we sugar salt it and we cold smoke it. Yeah. Yeah. And when we eat it, we open it. Oh. And everything here is real caviar. Look at that, man. We have the caviar on the biscuit. Mmm. A little soy cream. That's some rum, I know. Yeah. yeah. And uh, indigenous crime. And fresh. red onion. It looks amazing. <laughs> Mmm. You like it? No. <laughs> I love it. It's like delicately smoky. And it's very sweet, salty. The cream rounds it all off and then nice sharp onion in there as well. It's absolutely delicious. Thank you so much, Carla, for having me today. It's been nice to have you a here. One, a two snack. Yeah. <laughs> very, very nice. To nice see the whole it. process from the fish yeah. coming in off the boat to the hanging and we can turn that off now. I'm gonna finish all this food. <laughs> <laughs> Not far from Henningsvær lives a man who is regarded as an absolute legend for his quality seafood, which he ships to all corners of the world and to some of the most renowned restaurants. His name is Roderick Sloan, and I'm proud to call him a friend. Welcome home. Take some tack, brother. Oh. <laughs> Hang off me, man. I'm slipping. You, you good? Good. So what's the plan for today? We're going to go out to sea. Maybe do a bit of diving. Mm. Um, I've got a really nice seaweed I want to show you. Lovely. This is a new one. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to give me a bit of coffee so I can wake up? No. No. <laughs> the farm here is from the 8th century, and we're covered in Viking graves, and we're covered in heritage and beauty. Have you met my guys? I haven't. No. Hi, Hi Hallie. Aina. Aina. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, Hallie. This is Tommy. Two fucking Irish lads. I'll make you feel at home, you know? Yeah! OK, we're going to take him and go fishing now. See how you get on with that one. Yeah, fucking shotgun, man. Is Tommy ready for us, man? Oh, look at him, one of the Blues Bye. Brothers. <laughs> How's it going, Captain? Yeah, you're good. Right, are we off? Am I driving? No, you're not driving. Yeah. So we're just outside Norscott. Yeah. And uh, this is like a special place because I found some special seaweed here. The taste of truffles! Oh, yeah. Titan time, man. Yeah. So what's a, what's a primo time to go catch and seaweed? Low tide, really, for this yeah. one. I've got some seasoning for you. Truffle seaweed? Yep. Whoa. It looks like a bunch of pubes, no? We're going to use this as flavour tonight. Whoa. Just pungent, no? 
pretty amazing though. Yeah. Comes out a little bit bitter at the end. Yeah. But like truffle. It's definitely truffle. It's yeah. definitely truffle. That's filthy good. You know? <laughs> oh. Come oh. On. High five, chef. Yeah. So we've got the seaweed, now we need some to go with it. We're gonna go diving for mahogany clams, yeah? They grow to 500 years old, which is really old. It's what I call the grown-up clam, yeah? This is not a baby clam. Let's see. Yeah, she's got like strong metallic notes, a bit saltier, and a bit more chewy note as well, like she's not the soft. And is there a good place to get them around here? There is, just down here. Let's go. That was nice. Got loads of stuff. Oh, oh man, that's nice. So these are mahogany clams that Radek was talking about before. They live just underneath the uh, sand. Every line or ring indicates a year of age. And as Roddy said, these rooms are somewhere between 80 and 120 years old. They only reproduce at the age of 25. So they're literally just hanging around the bottom, not doing anything. Nothing eats them. And they don't really eat much themselves, but they're super delicious. Are you gonna do something, Roddy? You just gonna stand? I'm just gonna stand, man. I've been working all day. I'm old. <laughs> do you need that chair out of the way, you're right? Yeah, that's grand. I suppose the idea is like. All these onions are going to take a while to cook. They're protected by the nice shell casing. We've got the leeks on as well for a delicious salad. So this is the mahogany clam. This beautiful creature that I picked out of the water earlier. You want to trim off all this excess crap. It's like all the guts and business that you don't want anything part of. It doesn't taste like anything. So we'll get them all to this stage. Before we cook them. So a few uh, mahoganies straight up on the grill. Oh, I'm absolutely exhausted. Let's sit down. It's not my <laughs> list. Yeah. See you, boys. Oh, Good job. Before it goes cold. Well done, man. Yeah. It's going to be a, a, a challenge to eat all this to four of us, boys. Isn't it? yeah. It's going to be fine. I think there's a few heads behind the scenes <laughs> that might be able to help us out a bit. Oh, man, give us a beer right now. Yeah. Yeah. One for you. Yeah, while, you, while you have it, like that truffle seaweed man is banging. That mahogany is amazing. Those mahogany are yeah. so good. Chicken, a little though, bit right? smoky off. Yeah, so a bit nice. Chickeny, like, wow. Mm. Really nice to come down, Rod. I mean it, man. It's been nice hanging out and going for a dive, seeing all the wildlife, get a real Arctic experience, and just you know cooking a bit of grub with some honest, decent. Not so decent. I don't know if I'd say yeah, decent, no. like. Somewhat, somewhat. Yeah, anyway, fuck is all. Skull. 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 Nice one, lads. Next on, I'll travel 300 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle to meet and hunt with the indigenous peoples of Norway. Fucking hell! <laughs> wow. And to explore the Norwegian Russian border situation. The other side here is Russia. Oh, yeah! Can they calm down like lobsters do if you pet them on the head? Uh, 